Welcome back guys to another episode of Just Van In It. We're currently parked up on a private property here in Victoria and it, the weather is not too bad, well, which is always a good thing. But um, yeah, we met um, these people on the road and they've invited us, they were in the area and they invited us to come and check out their farm and also stay on the farm and show us a day of a, on the life of a farmer. He's a beef farmer. Look at that. But look at the view. I mean, can't complain with that. And um, <clears throat> in this video, we're going to get prepared for our travels while we're here, while we've got the opportunity. So we're going to do some maintenance on the cruiser and we're going to show you what we've added to the um, caravan while we've been here. And also you would have seen, if you follow our journey, um, when we were on KR, I did a little something silly on the cruiser which hurt the uh, clutch, but we'll get into that a bit later. But um, this morning, Jason's gonna take me down and um, so I can meet the cows. Check out this little guy here. This is uh, how they get around on the farm. It's a Polaris Ranger. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know they come in diesel. Look at this little guy. And it's also like enclosed as well because I reckon it gets pretty. It's even red jade. Check that out. Tow hitch on it. And it's enclosed because it gets pretty cold down here in winter. Yeah, done some work. I've been told <coughs> it's pretty loud in here. It's got four wheel drive, diff lock. It's what you need for a farm. another little addition to the farm they've got some show chooks I have no idea what that is but we'll soon find out oh hello mate look at this Just oh mate oh look at him there you go oh slowly champ oh mate like you can get through the Oh, look at that guy. You're a great looking. Is it a cop? <laughs> oh, would he? Oh, all right. Let's back out a bit. He's not happy. Yeah, we need Oh, look at this. Hey, mate. I never knew I would say this, but that's a beautiful looking. <laughs> Mum 
So, look who's, look who's in the... It's in the, Saturday, yeah. So we're ever arrived. Um, we're starting our little tour from... Uh, where is it? We're in Inverloch. Inverloch, along the coast. The best coast. Best coast, is it? We're in Inverloch, <laughs> along the best coast. A lot Old going on. Old Loggett never knows where he a is. A lot going on in me, um, me, 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 me brain, but... Um, yeah. We've just made it out for the day and yeah, looking around the area, a couple of small stuff. Well, stops. like I said earlier, the um, Jason Lee's are trying to um, entice us. Entice us back. Back in the in the warmer months. So they right? don't actually have to entice us. It is because it's beautiful. We'd come back I mean, anyway. Let's be honest. When you when we thought about coming to Victoria, we just thought Melbourne, you know, Melbourne, Great Ocean Road, and then mm. sort of go to South Australia. You never. You speak to the locals and then this is where they can bring you to. So come on, let's go and have a look at this. That's a great little spot, huh? What do you think of it? Gorgeous. So now we're gonna go and get Sue a coffee, of course. And then um, apparently, the scenery gets better. Where did you get the coffee from? I'm just getting my fix down the local, and this is literally the local. It's called the local in Balak. Is it? And it's yeah. a beautiful little coffee shop. Watch the space for the rating on the coffee, but. Um, what did your coffee did you get? A uh, skinny cap. What did I get? Large, or what did you order me? You got a mocha with two sugars because you need sweetening up. Because I'm a sweet man. No, you need sweetening up. I need sweet. Oh, right. And what, what did we get? A little snack? Well, you didn't get a pie. You didn't get a pink donut. You got a ham and cheese croissant. Croissant. Because you don't want to fill our bellies because apparently we've been taken to one of the best fish and chip shops on the Phillip Island. What do you got? Is that good? This is good. Now you reckon, say, you, you reckon you know you can pick a good coffee? I can pick a good coffee and um, let's just say not disappointing. I've had a taste and I'm no coffee drinker but that is good. That's not a coffee, that's a mocha. Oh, mocha that's coffee, not is that a, not the same thing? It's got coffee in it but it's got chocolate in it, it's not a proper coffee. Oh damn it, that's hot. At Eagle's Nest along Bunnarong. But the Bunnarong Drive is from Inverloch to Kilcunda. It's about 40k drive apparently. And uh, we've Jason Lisa reckon this is a spot, so we're gonna check it out. <laughs> We're at the beach, turn around, check out old mate. It's about three degrees. He's yeah. having a swim, but apparently it's very good for you, cold water. What we're gonna show you next, and this is my question, where was this rock pool when I was looking for a rock pool? Where was this rock pool?
We found you a rock pool, but now what's the problem? I can't swim in it, it's too bloody cold. So on the way to get something to eat, well, it's supposed to be lunch, but it's already two o'clock in the afternoon. We kept passing this, um, oh, hang on, there you go, this old bridge. I'll tell you what, it's actually fantastic to see how engineering was done. And I'll tell you what, I reckon if someone built a bridge like that, it wouldn't pass engineering in today's age, but still pretty impressive. I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote Time for lunch. It's about 3 p.m. Is it lunch or is it uh, sort of it's late lapper. lunch, early, early, it's early supper? Mm -hmm. It's oh. lunch supper, so lapper. Right. What and, do you get? Um, I got a fish burger. I think you got some calamari. Plus you got... Oh, all right, off you go then, dear. Are you hungry or what? Yeah, what are you going to have? Holy moly, man. Yeah, I don't think they're shy on their portions. So, uh, Where are we eating, actually, by the way? Uh, we're at Fish and Chips no. in San Remo. It's called San Remo Co-op. Right on, and, oh, by the oh, way, that's the, um, the bridge to Phillip Island. Look at this. Which is just over there. What do we got? It's Lisa's it's Lisa's spring roll. lonely spring oh, roll. Oh no, you can't be serious. Have you heard that song? Oh. Well guys, we've been a bit busy. We haven't just been kicking our feet up. Yesterday was pretty cool. We went and uh, did a bit of touring. But the big picture, we had to get a few things done and ready for our travels. So with the weather being cooler, right up until we get to the um, warmer weather, which is on obviously like in, in, in the NT or Queensland, we had to put a diesel heater in. Now we put a Chinese one in because we've had one before and it never, never went... Never skipped a beat. Never skipped a beat. So, under the bed... <coughs> I picked this up for $135. $135. Bucks. Oh, that's for very everything. Money. So it's a 8 kilowatt. Yeah. And you can see it's a double ducted. Um, so it gets fresh air that way. Under the bed, all nicely mounted. And we've got two vents out here. And we've been running it a couple nights. And I'll tell you what. She's toasty. She's toasty. We've, we've got it set on 18 degrees. And it's comfortable at 18 degrees. And we've wired it in. Under the under the bed under the chair here where the power system is, and we've actually put the little controller inside the cupboard. And oh dear, where is the remote? It's in the drawer. In the drawer. No, the drawer next to your bed. Uh, not drawer next to your bed. Let's have a look. You can tell he cleans up the van. Yeah, no. I've been busy. I have to say, the first night you had it on, I was starting to literally hear sizzle sounds and coming from my body. It's on a little remote, so that way, you should be able to turn it on. I heard the click, it'll fire up. There you go. There it is. It takes a few minutes to and that get means temperature. You can turn it on, get it nice and warm before we get out of bed. Yeah, and I've left it on at 18 degrees because I find that that's perfect. So I'm going to turn it off. There you go. What have you done to your bum? On the bum of the caravan, we've added two jerry can holders. One for diesel, so. The black canisters are actually for diesel and um, 
we'll fill that up for our diesel heater and we can carry 20 litres of diesel for the ute as well so once we get into the warmer weather and we don't need the diesel heater I'll put that into the, the cruiser <coughs> and on this side another wine bar I'll put water in this one now the reason we've done this is the ball weight that is 40 litres of um, 20 litres of diesel, 20 litres of water or 40 litres of diesel, doesn't matter I might even just put both um, diesels in because I'll use it all the time um, is to try and lift that ball weight so you've got 40 kilos on the back I'm guessing we've come up 10 kilo off the ball so that ball weight is going to put us around 320 kilos now which it's still heavy but I'm 30 kilos within my um, 350 ball weight on my car and it's not just wasted weight um, you know we could have put weights you could put a bag of sand in the back etc but that's not usable Helpful. weight yeah so <laughs> I think that's pretty cool um, that's all we've done for the van guys and I think we're ready to ready to go with the van now um, come around this way I'll show you we'll move on to the ute now now this is maintenance on the road so we've taken the opportunity at Jason and Lisa's farm and I'll show you in a minute his shed um, he's given me the op um, opportunity we're gonna run through the car now we blew this little pump here's the mess I'm still trying to get ourselves um, road ready I bought this little pump that's supposed oh Jesus stinks it's supposed to be a pretty good pump it's a rule inline water pump that we put underneath the, the, the ute for when I have to go and get water now I don't travel with water in the car because I'll be over my uh, GVM and GCM but when we park up at a free camp and we want to stay a bit longer and we run out of the two, two tanks of water I can go and get 120 litres in the car that way I'm under my weights because I don't have the caravan on the back and um, this little pump well it only lasted two months and it absolutely burnt out for some reason that's not real good so I've just been into town and I've got a new one I didn't go with the same one I can't get the same one so that's a sea flow inline water pump exactly the same um, so we got two tanks underneath here I think they are two 65 litre tanks so you call it 120 litres of water um, we can go and get which would you know would fill a tank and a bit on this on the caravan and then if we go out again I can get some more water etc like that so now we're going to take the car up we're going to do some maintenance you find yourself a big gurney I think it's pretty cool guys this is actually a hot wash so Jason reckons like that'll burn your hand so the idea here is while we're here on his farm we're going to give the underbody a good spray now because um, we're going to treat it with some stuff when it's on the hoist just to try and look after the underneath now I won't lie to you it's looking pretty bad underneath um, from the rust on rust um, side of things so one day we will have to get that um, or in the near future we must probably have to get the chassis re um, resprayed redone but um, We'll this is just a little bit of a maintenance tip. Just a little bit of maintenance tip. So apparently this thing's pretty, pretty wild. So we're going to give the under car. I'm just stepping away. So we bought a brand new winch and um, the solenoid's not working on it. So they sent me a new solenoid and, and things. So we're going to take out the whole box, we'll put a new box in for the winch. Fortunately, we didn't want to push it up the hoist. I question me now how heavy this car is, but when we waited last year, it was three and a half ton with the boat, us in it, and Sophie, full tank fuel. But uh, we didn't want to push it on the hoist. So we just rolled it back. And then what we're going to do, come around this one, I'll grab some stuff, I'll show you. Okay. I hate to say it, love, but big butts don't lie. What? Big butts don't lie. Big butts? And she's obviously got a big butt. So guys, we're going to, Jason's been in the industry, or in his industry for a while. He's owned a fair few 79s, even his sons have got 79s. And one way to try and look after your underbody is to spray a heavy duty lanolin. What's it, Lennon spray lubricant? I bought two cans from Super Cheap Auto. They were ten bucks each. Just try and protect the underbody until we can get it sprayed. So, and then also what we've done is we dropped it off at one of Jason's mechanics around the corner. Specializes in 79s. 
we've redone the clutch because you would have seen if you watch our videos on KI when we pulled the van out that day it blew blue smoke and we burnt the clutch and ever since then the clutch has been a bit hoppy and when I spoke to Jason about it he recommended we would change the clutch so we've got an MPC 30, 1300 MPC clutch in there now um, we've been driving it for a few days and I'll tell you what is that it's very smooth so I'm, I'm pretty pretty impressed with that we've also got the mechanic to service the car so it's done 100,000 K service on it um, but sad it's hit 100,000 what are we 100,800 kilometers on the cruiser now so we jumped over that 100,000 K which is a bit sad but anyway um, and also we done the caster bushes on here so when you raise these um, 79 cruisers by two inches or three inches or whatever your center diff moves upwards uh, which causes the front of your car to sort of wave on the road and then we, by putting the caster bushes into the, um, the the negative caster bushes or the correct negative caster bushes in your radius arms it pulls that center of that diff back nice and level and that'll help the cast of the car and stop that wandering on the road so we actually did have some in but they collapsed um, they were the cheaper ones the mechanic said so you just put some Dobson ones in now the right thing to do is generally is replace these radius arms to a two three four and a half inch radius arm but they three grand I just don't have the money for that so we put some new caster bushes in and see how we go with them this time around um, at the moment we're changing the um, what do we say the sudden order of the new winch we put in I'm not going to say anything more about it uh, we're going to get stuck into that and then when we're done with that uh, we'll jump on underneath and we'll spray with that linen all, all over the chassis so we can try and save it grease your chassis righto yeah, it's done now it's got a bit late so and I couldn't really record in there because I was I actually did some of the work but I'll swing this camera around for you I don't know if you can see the difference with that um that stuff I sprayed on it looks like a brand new chassis that I used two cans with right underneath springs everything right up to the front and it looks like it's come out of treat so I'm actually gonna I'm actually going to buy a can and just leave in the cut in, in the caravan as well because it's good for boat motors, jet skis, boat trailers. I can give my little trailer a spray as well. Just try and look after the stuff while we're on the road. I'm not saying it's the best stuff out, but it looks like it does do a good job and we'll try it out as we go along. But um, I'm just going to try and find Sue. Where are you, dear? Yeah, Don't hide away. Huh? I'm inside. You're inside? Not inside. What do you think of the caravan though, bud? Have you enjoyed it? I am enjoying it. I'm loving it. That's Absolutely awesome. loving it. Well, guys, I was supposed to tell him where we were going to go because we were changing up the plans. So the plan As was always. the plan was to go to Queensland and up to Cape York with, and meet some fellow travellers up there. And because all the rain that's happened in Queensland, we've changed the plan and we're going back up the centre. So we're going up to Alice Springs to Fink Desert Race. We're going to meet some travellers over there that that travelled with us on on Ki and Paluby, and then we're going to make our way up the centre and across the top and meet them back at Cooktown in August for Cape. So we're looking really forward to that. Um, plans always change when you're on the road. But anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the content, please hit the like and subscribe below. Thank you so much to all those people that have supported us so far. Really appreciate it. And from myself and Sue. Have a good week. See you guys.